Studio JTM is a smaller, more compact, lower wattage version of the JTM45 amplifier. The JTM45 is obviously a really iconic amplifier from Marshall. It was the first ever Marshall to be made. And since then, it's been a real benchmark in guitar tone. The studio version is much smaller, it's more lightweight, and it's a lower wattage. So this allows you to get those same huge guitar tones, but at a more controllable level. In the range, we have a head, combo, and we also have matching 1x12 or 2x12 cabinets. These are loaded with 65 watt Celestian Creamback speakers. I was demonstrated the JTM and it just took me back to my original JTM 45. It was my sound. You know, the original amplifier was endorsed by blues musicians, and I feel this amplifier has the ability to work from blues all the way through to jazz. And I feel that this is going to be something special. So it now is challenging all my original amplifiers that I love. And this is my new love. <laughs> These amps are handmade in the UK. Inside this amp, we have the same preamp and power amp valves as the larger JTM45. So we have two 5881 power amp valves and three ECC83s. With the coffin logo and fawn fret, this takes us back to the Marshall amps of the early 60s. These amps are vintage voiced and they're ideal for the player who wants to go from a clean which has some character straight through to some old school overdriven sounds. Just like the original JTMs, this amp has two voices. We have the high treble, which is brighter and more aggressive, and the normal, which is rounder and more warm in tone. Many players like to blend these two sounds together by jumping the channels using a patch lead. On the rear panel, we have our speaker outputs, a DI, and an effects loop, which is switchable. On the front panel, we have the four inputs, and then a level for each of the two voices, the standard EQ, and then a power switch which allows you to go from 20 watts down to 5 watts.
Everyone has their own way of using a JTM, and this amp is no different. It's a responsive and dynamic amp, which allows the sound of your hands and the guitar to come through. why people wanted to use the Marshall is because it was giving the sound they wanted. There wasn't an amplifier that was dedicated to the blues musicians of the day. Admittedly, the way that they used to produce sounds in those days was different to now. Then it was much more running the hand under the bottom all full flat out, and they took the guitar down. Now it's a blending, and the new amplifier gives them the chance to use that but still have that heart sound that started from the JTM 45. 